The ingredients that make the colors of many foods pop are on the chopping block in some states. West Virginia just banned several food dyes. The state removed red 40 and yellow 5 due to health concerns. So how harmful are food dyes? Jeff Wagner answers that good question and explains why they're even used. A rainbow of choices adorn the drink section at Kowalski's, right next to the signature pastel hues that come with Easter candies, many of which are manufactured so the colors catch your eye. What is your understanding of food dyes? Yeah, it just seems unnecessary and extra. Like, why is it there? I understand that some of them are are not at all healthy. So if you look at, you go out and find where these foods are, they aren't the foods that we're telling people to eat, right? Joanne Slavin is a food science and nutrition professor. What are food dyes? So it's really to make foods attractive. You know, uh, as people expect uh, brighter colors in the in their foods, it really does require these dyes if that's what they're looking for. Artificial dyes make citrus drinks yellow or spicy food red. Visual cues to help us identify flavors, but they are made using chemicals and thus regulated by the Food and Drug Administration to ensure their safety. There's really no nutritional reason to put food dyes in. Of the nine FDA-approved artificial food dyes, the most popular are Red 40, Yellow 5, and Yellow 6. Early this year, the FDA banned Red 3 in foods, beverages, and oral drugs over concerns it can cause cancer. West Virginia has taken it several steps further, banning seven dyes and two preservatives from foods sold statewide starting in 2028 and from schools starting this August. Studies have shown the dyes can increase hyperactivity or behavioral issues in kids. Beyond Red 3, the FDA maintains food dyes are safe. If you can quite easily cut these out of your diet and get that done yourself if you have concerns about food dyes because you really don't need them at all. Is it something that you've looked at on a label and considered at this point? Uh, not as much as the other additives. Not really, um, but it's something that I'm gonna look for more of in the future. A study by the Wall Street Journal found that 13% of foods and beverages have at least one artificial dye in them. Red 40 leads the way, being found in 39,000 products. What do you look for on a nutrition label? Uh, no added sugars. Just try to avoid anything that's super high in salt. And of all the things we need to worry about in the nutrition world, uh, food dyes, you're right, they've elevated to here and they should be somewhere in this middle. We want people to not eat too many calories, not too much sodium, avoid ultra processed foods. With photojournalist Chris Cruz, Jeff Wagner, WCCO News. Around two dozen states have proposed banning food dyes in some fashion. Some, like Iowa, are focused mainly on keeping it out of schools. If you have a good question for Jeff, you can email him anytime by visiting WCCO.com.